of what you raised in terms of uh, the mid management um, not getting upskilling and uh, the layoffs in terms of uh, please understand that ultimately it's it's see volume of a mass scale layoff can never be mid management okay look at the percentage today let me take one example of one multi let me stop for using names here so if you take one of the major multinational company of india was an international technology giant behemoth they're close to 2 lakhs and look at the 2 lakhs uh if you look at the mass entry level engineers senior level engineers these two put together form close to 55 to 60% in terms of the actual the size of the company and the next level of the project lead project manager program manager the next three in terms of stepping towards management interested in management yes i got the management i'm moving ahead to the below senior management that category comprises another at least close to 30% 55 okay. plus 30 it's as good as 85% and then you get into the status of delivery manager you get you just about enters the gate of the senior manager and you don't see a percentage more than 5% or 6% of the entire company. Mm-hmm. so if you look at in terms of the uh, the destability in terms of people at the management not level and are getting shunted out at the layoff uh, my debatable point here is 100% i cannot take that debate because uh, they don't form the mass in terms So this, it's purely a skill issue of not able to manage and obviously the companies when they want to do these sort of things i'm sure the bell curve and all this will work wonderfully very well everybody who is not a good performer they want to wean out they all come to the bell curve the bell curve generally is done to ensure that the positions are mitigated for promotional sakes but mm. it can always apply in terms of the layoff sake also so okay. these aspects of just about the middle management people not getting skilled and not serving is one part they are also people who contribute to good amount of take away out of the budget of the company in terms of the salary space that's also mm. another issue mm. the company doesn't get projects that's another issue pay they will place and today when when i said an example of a manager handling 10 people today a manager had to handle 50 people i'm mm. talking about a project which has got at least some 500 people they don't want more than 10 managers yes. one of the days when a general manager had used to handle 1000 people today a general manager has to handle 500 people 5000 people mm. how is it yeah. that's the type of expertise that's the type of knowledge is required and if you are a good quality um, a general manager the company does invest in terms of sending you to the institute on their own mm. or you need a person the, the best of the multinational where i work the company does give the chance for people to go and take certifications and if you clear the certifications they even they even went to the level of reimbursing those certifications value so that people mm-hmm. are motivated to ensure that i get my certification my company is with me okay it's a two way one of you got to get a certification like a, let's take one technology sap it's all mm-hmm. expensive you go and touch mm-hmm. a certificate at certain level 2 lakhs 2 and 1/2 lakhs and the guy goes and takes it the company cannot just reimburse the company is okay stay with me for minimum 2 years mm-hmm. See, look at this there is a bondage But ultimately, the guy is also saying, that, "Okay, at least I am safe with the company." The company also says, "This guy's technology can be used." See, there is a there is a win-win situation for both. I strongly feel that today's propagation in terms of the layoff, I really like the way uh, Jasmine put it across. Please understand, these these online or digital in terms of those Amazons and Flipkarts and even the beautiful example was uh, Abilash gave in terms of so many companies today and the non-acceptance of. Amazon, in terms of Misho being second, it's all it's all the realms of life. Please understand today that these companies are gone overboard. They said COVID situation every day. They never thought that COVID situation they didn't want in. The COVID mm. want to go on all they didn't want because ultimately a businessman is a businessman. Yeah. Okay. Over overdone, over planning. It's all gone beyond levels of acceptance, and mm. ultimately everybody enjoyed. See what you're supposed to get for one year, you got it for three years. See, please understand. See, in cricket they say the word. See, cricket is a great level. And see, life is also a great level. What yeah. you had to earn in one year, you got for three years. In three for three years, earning earn one year. Obviously, it's a great level. Somewhere it has to end out. The company also cannot have a banyan tree and keep plucking the money mm. from there. No, how much are you planning to do? Be happy that Amazon gave you a job and made you earn one year salary for three years. Mm. You need to also understand today. The layoff complaint cannot happen totally. you need mm-hmm. to be smart enough to understand what you stand in terms of like 
that's where the get comes and go oh, i am so and so i want this much money i am so and so i am branded i'm this all this mm-hmm. are all fine and are you in the reality space of life you're not in the reality space of life in terms of no, that 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 raises uh, an important question that all these people mid uh, mid level and senior people definitely lag a lot of networking because what i see in linkedin and other spaces is like the guy who's in 12 years 10 years 15 years working in microsoft google they feel that their life is completely settled and they don't even do any networking or online or offline doesn't know anybody apart from his family and office members he doesn't know anybody so suddenly some thing happens like this kind of a challenge sudden layoff where you've been asked to leave uh, if at all you are not applying to the terms and conditions you have to leave with the second day so then suddenly he comes and posts us in linkedin that i'm looking for a job change how does it work so in 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 terms of uh, networking how do you think this is very lacking or what kind of skills needs to be developed finish so can i give a chance to both ablation yes. jasmine also said i'll speak later they should not feel that why madhavan is dominating so much no sir that's another perspective right both, both, of, the, both uh-huh. of the youngsters to take get a chance also no no it's a, just a perspective a multiple right. perspective we are just trying to get. yeah please ablation. i will i will so, appreciate ablation jasmine goes then i'll go i have an answer but i will appreciate both them both of them get a chance please go ahead Mike. jasmine so yeah so what happens like uh, a point what uh, uh, central now told right it was real it was real true i see many profiles who are working in google or microsoft uh, in terms of higher level they do have only 100 connections in linkedin to be open and you check mm-hmm. any profile 200 connections those 200 connections are google employees no no correct one. correct so uh, these guys don't do networking because they are uh, look like a settlement settled people uh maybe a kind of early retirement they have settled very well with a high paid salary and many people will not complain most of them also starting their own startups these mm. days so people who have skill and uh, have network or you have an interest to do a networking they are definitely going to start new company so especially coming to our topic today in india i think it's a growing uh, perspective is going well as uh, jasmine told really well uh, it was a research So skill level everything is going to get the great feature it's a good opportunity for india now to showcase our skill and talent globally so this is where many companies especially on mid level or even senior level they are breaking from that full time job and they are coming into this so this is factually happening right now in india mm. you can see there is a big rise on new startups entrepreneurs so we know that how you us you think about silicon valley or any other bad and us they are very popular because of startups and the number one job the most uh, valuable job in us right now is legal lawyer profession so why they built because of these startups i think mm. uh, india also is going in such a way heading towards that direction we are going to have a lot of entrepreneurs and startup uh, founders upcoming days so there will be executives and there will be startups so we don't need any more big ticket uh, managers something like that so i think this is a good sign for india in terms of global recession so there will be no need of any big uh, players who just uh, in the sake like i have 20 years of experience or 15 years of experience they should have that skill to take up take their companies in their shoulders it was not just a ceo job to take over their company i think it's a good opportunity and the hiring trend is also says the same uh, i think even coimbatore uh, city where i belong to it was i think the last uh, few months it was in the top 5 the number of job opening and the most of the job were opening or pressures uh, doesn't matter it was for mnc or uh, startup it was mostly for pressures it means they are able to train them and get the same job done which they are trying to get it from a 5 year or 6 year or 7 year person uh, because these guys not upskill as rightly said by uh, all the panel members so i, I think it was a good opportunity for us so if they are not focusing on their profile in terms of networking or any other social media or any other offline uh, networking uh, i think it's very difficult for the people who want to sign or even survive mm-hmm. now jasmine uh, the point on networking that gives another perspective like if you don't do networking how do how do you manage people how do you uh, develop your leadership qualities how do you manage your team if, even without having no communication with net what happens there so what do you think like uh, networking and other areas where you have been in both sides one you were in a job where you were uh, been 
um uh, in the in the internal circle of people and one right now you are into business where you have to network with people and other uh, aspects to generate uh, visibility for your business all that so how do you think this networking will help you or or the people who are currently working who are anticipating layoff uh, what kind of importance is there in terms of both online and offline fine so just first let's talk about the internal networking I, when i was working i always forced or pushed my team to talk to other team members to talk to cross functional team members that is a mandatory thing with on which i give them a performance hikes that's for sure why because if they don't know each other if they don't speak to if they don't like okay i don't want to talk to the tester how they could done the game, how they can complete the task right so this is really important and because of this skill set because we work together we have a proper networking in my last organization in just 6 months time period we had a two major success okay and com- everybody was bloomed out like how you have done this thing mm. one thing was communication second thing was networking so yes of course internal networking is really important and second thing when i was working i always told my team as well and i even try to do i was active on my linkedin but not as you mentioned even i do have a 500 connections and all because um we need little bit networking we don't need much persons and even i was only having friends from my college time from people who are uh, working in different mncs from x companies that all was my perspective as well mm. but yes of course in today's era and when the covid hit that really makes me understand networking is a too much important and when i started my career as, as a coach and when i been to bni and other things i thought like okay i'm getting so much knowledge whether the person are attached with me over a platforms or a, on a offline mode but i'm getting knowledge right mm. i'm learning from their uh, you can expertise i don't need to like go and check on a google for a long hours i can learn from you i can learn from madhavan sir experience right so that will save lot of time if we have a good network correct so as you said when i'm in need i don't need to check it out to whom should i ask i can simply just put one message that i'm in need of this kind of connections i'm need in this kind of thing people will definitely love to come and serve me and this is what needed in today's era we have to have a good bond with each other so when i was in previous day when i was searching over internet the harvard university said in 2022 or after onwards 2022 we need one skill which is mandatory for everyone that is a people management mm-hmm. that how we can communicate with e- each and everyone so during covid it has shown even if you talk about today's era recession layoffs happening if we had a good communication if people knows us we don't need to go and say please help me we don't need to mm-hmm. beg because of our communication and because our, our values people would love to help us out i mean the, the doors are open but uh, but we don't realize that these are all doors open external doors are yes. always open and all that but since because of maybe a lack of time or lack of um, you know awareness we lose out those opportunities and that's where the uh, problem is getting created mm-hmm.